And I want everyone to take a look at what happens when you have allergies. If you're exposed to an allergen, once those allergens get into your system, what they do is sometimes your body will recognize them as foreign. You'll get these IgE molecules attaching them to mast cells, and then there's this huge histamine release. And the whole idea behind these shots is that you are slowly exposing the body to the allergen so that over time, your body no longer thinks of it as a foreign invader. But you're talking about, is there an alternative? And the good news is this, there's actually sublingual drops now. It's a great option. It is. Yeah. But it's been proven to be very effective in, in, in Europe. Europe. But it's, using it. it's not yet not FDA approved here. We're still moving through those final be stages. Because when you go into the, the doctor's office for the shots, oftentimes you have a mild reaction. Mm -hmm. And you're, that, you're at the office. They're ready for any reaction. So they need to make sure that this is going to be just, you know, hopefully safer because you're going to be doing it at home. But docs are using this, I think, off-label in some circumstances. But the most important thing, we've said this on the show before, whether it's your allergies or asthma, don't let your symptoms control you, control your symptoms. So if you're struggling, you should really go see an allergy specialist, and they'll figure out what's best for you. All right, thanks.